The frigid weather gripping much of the country is only going to get worse. A second Arctic blast could sweep through, causing temperatures to plunge even further. So what can you do to prepare for a cold weather emergency? Weather can change at any time and not always for the better. We hear of reports of people getting stuck in their cars or having to walk to the nearest shelter. No one wants that, but it can be a little easier if you're prepared. The American Red Cross says there are a few things that can help you cope if you get stuck when nature turns nasty. Always carry a little extra cash. Make sure your gas tank is full. Also, have a kit filled with basic supplies like a blanket, warm clothing, and comfortable shoes. Also, a charger for your cell phone, a bottle of water, and non-perishable food. Keep sand or kitty litter, a flashlight with fresh batteries, bandages, and scissors or a knife. All of these can come in handy if you get stuck on the road in a weather emergency. These frigid temperatures are hitting the Midwest and we have a reminder once again to bring your pets inside. So what about the animals that have no choice but to be outdoors? Little caves made from heated rocks are helping to keep some zoo animals warm like tigers and bears. In the cold temperatures, these rocks can be a nice escape from the chill. Zoo officials at Cleveland Metro Park Zoo say while these temperatures are cold, some of these animals see these types of conditions in their natural habitats. It's not uncommon for these guys to see ice and, and even a little bit of snow out in the wild. So here in Cleveland, um, some of the, the colder days are, are, are okay for them to be outside. Zoo officials say they monitor the animals' weight so they can adjust their diets in the cold weather. And nothing really says like winter like a giant snowman. That one, 30 feet tall along a highway in Minnesota. The man who made it named him Frosty, of course. He spent six days building him, and he had to use a front loader to do it. All right, what would you do for free food? Some diners sat out in the cold weather in Maryland. It's being dubbed the Polar Vortex Challenge. This is the second time that the restaurant called Hot Table put on this chili challenge. The snow and single digit temperatures don't seem to bother these people. They say the food beats the cold. It's cold, but the, the, but the food's good. So I'll brave the cold for the free food. It's just winter in New England and I love Hot Table and my friends like to come down. It's just fun. It's a fun thing to do. You didn't say one thing about the cold. Is it cold? <laughs> Is it cold? It was five degrees there, but you know, the meal was free. Morning's ahead at five o'clock, everybody. Stay with us.